Hey guys, so in this video we'll go over the details and we'll go over some of the settings we have for our gallery page. So to create a new gallery page, we'll just click on add new and we'll type in the title of our page. That'll be new gallery page. Okay, now let's just scroll down, select our template to be latest galleries. And we'll go ahead and publish our page now. So let's just click on a view page to view our actual page. Here are all of our galleries and everything we've published so far. All right, so next off, what we have is the ability to select the type of gallery categories we want to display within our galleries. Uh, next off, we have the ability to select our page layout for the galleries. Now, just like with a blog page, we have several options here. We have thumbnail view, grid view, list view, featured area, all of these um, areas we've discussed within the blog video, so you can go ahead and watch that video as well. Um, it will be helpful. But here are all of the customizations we can make for the gallery page. Next off, we can add a slideshow to our page if that is necessary. And then we can add additional content to our page, for example. We can either add or remove our page title. Uh, if we want to add content above our footer, we can go ahead and do that by just selecting either latest blog posts or gallery posts. Within the blog post settings, we selected gallery posts. Uh, but now within our gallery page, I want to add the latest blog posts. So I'll go ahead and do that. Title, um, I'll just title it recent from my blog. Number of posts, we want to have our four and number of columns per row, we'll have it four as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and click on update. We'll go back here to this page, refresh it. And as you see, we have an image slider added, and then we have our um, page adjusted as well with recent blog posts that I've just added. So these are some basic settings that you can play around with for the galleries area. Now remember that you can add multiple gallery pages. You can add either weddings or events, or you can have product portfolio images and so forth. All of that can be done within the gallery pages area, and they can dif be divided into the categories that are created by you. Next off, we have some additional settings that are located within the Monday area. And uh, we'll just head on over to sliders and galleries. And what we have here is our gallery views. So currently we have this layout. And if we just head on over to any gallery, you'll see that we have this layout selected for the galleries. If we select this layout and click on update settings, we'll go back here, refresh this page. Now you'll see that our layout has changed completely. So these are some of the options that you have in terms of displaying the types of galleries. Once again, they're located within sliders and galleries. We also have the ability to adjust our image sizes. So we'll click on image sizes. We'll scroll down and we can adjust our gallery image height and width over here. So these updates can be done here. And finally, we have our post settings, which are related to our gallery settings. So let's just scroll down until we find our gallery page settings. Here we can enable or disable the social sharing, show meta entry on the gallery pages, and we can have the margin on our gallery posts. So this is pretty much it in terms of the settings we have for our galleries. And if you do have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.